Welcome back. Or if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. This is Going Carnivore Mark. And I'm telling you my successes and failures. We're talking day four of this project. At this point, I've got a hell of a headache. And I'm not chewing that steak anymore. And I said, we're going to have to do some better cooking. So on day four, I went online and I ordered some rubs. Because I had went back to macro. And I bought two pieces of brisket about that big. I had to take a, a whole brisket and cut it in quarters and I took two of the quarters for a brisket. And I thought maybe I can cook one of them thick briskets. But I thought I needed some rubs and I found some good something they call killer hog <laughs> killer hog killer hogs barbecue steak seasoning they had three different kinds. They had all-purpose rub. They had a steak rub and a smoked brisket rub. So I ordered all three of those from Lazada and got those in. The other thing I ordered was a simple inside-the-grill thermometer just an ordinary old one with a dial indicator so that this cheap grill that is here that uses charcoal you could tell what temperature it's got up to after you start it up without having to put a probe in there so I got one of those ordered and I also ordered a very inexpensive laser thermometer I could use that, I figured, watching these videos on YouTube. You could use that, and if you put a cast iron skillet on your grill or a cast iron skillet on your cooktop, you can just point this thing at it. It'll tell you what the temperature of the surface is, and you can use that for dialing in the temperature you want to cold sear or wet sear a steak. Now if you don't know what cold sear is versus regular wet sear, some of the channels I recommended or if you get into the meat channels you can figure that out but cold searing a steak, the simple version is you get a hot surface preferably like cast iron and you take the meat and you just put it on there. No butter, no oils, no liquids, put on dry. And this is after you've already cooked the inside up to temperature. You just put it on there anywhere from 30 seconds to two minutes, flip it. Some people put two minutes and only flip it once and do two minutes. Some people do 30 seconds, flip it, do 30 seconds, flip it, do 30 seconds, flip it again. And that puts the brown, the searing on the steak or the meat. So I ordered this laser thermometer and I figured that's going to come in. The other thing I wanted to do was I found a barbecue grill seller on Facebook that's located in Patia. I think it's BBQ Thai Grills. So the web page looked really good. I mean, you know, looked real nice, pictures and everything. So we found where it was, and myself and Noy, we drove over there. And we get there, and we're sort of like in this little commercial application. There's a restaurant, equipment supply place on the left. On the right was a Ford high-performance 
race shop where they were building race cars and race trucks and customizing trucks and they're in there welding and grinding. In between that was this place where they sold grills. The doors locked. I mean, just closed and padlocked. And it didn't look like much of a showroom. It looked like a warehouse. So, Noy calls on the phone, talks to a woman, she said, who said a man would be right there. So we hung around, we waited for about 15 minutes, and this guy cruises up on his motorcycle. His name is Mark, and he's from Florida. Hey, hey. He owns a grill place. And he showed me what he had. None were put together. And he gave me some valuable information couple pieces. One piece of information he said was smoking steaks is one thing but really brisket you mu you have to really like to cook because these people who are doing brisket, if you follow some of the channels, and I might even put a couple of channels in the description on this one, I don't know. But if you go searching for barbecue, best barbecue brisket, how to barbecue a brisket. I mean, these guys, there's a hundred different ways to do it. And they all got their own little secrets. You can spend a lot of time looking, but the bottom line is most of these people are putting them out there on a smoker grill, and they some of them put them in for three hours, then pull them out and sous vide them, then put them back in for five hours on a smoker, then other people, they put them in there overnight for eight hours at a real low temperature, and then they put them at a high temperature after pulling them out and putting different stuff on. I mean, there's a lot of ways to do it, but to cook a brisket takes a lot of time. Now, back here over my shoulder, we've got a brisket cooking. And to sous vide a brisket, and this is like a uh, three pound piece of brisket, maybe. To sous vide that was seven, 72 hours in the cooker. That's slow cooking. It. It's going to be tender. It's going to be moist. It's going to be easy to chew. Praise the Lord, please. Thank you, please. I promise. Uh, oh, okay. Never know. It's been in there for three days. So, doing briskets, he said, is a lot like work. And I, at that point, I mentioned that I went to macro and got my meat, and all I got was a headache and sore teeth. I said, now, I've got a guy from Florida who came to Thailand, been here 14 years, owns a grill shop, surely... You know where the best beat is. You can't own a grill shop and not like grilling, and not like meat, and not like good meat. He said, yep, I got you covered. So, he told me about a place called Bangkok Beef. And they have a Facebook group that you can join. No cost. Just go Facebook. Join the group. Which I did. And they've got a price list. And they've got an extensive menu of items. And you tell them how much it, you want. And then they will put that on a refrigerated truck. And they will send it to you. 
Now this was day four. It was Wednesday. I hooked up with that Bangkok beef on a Thursday. And the meat should arrive on Sunday. And I bought some ribeyes and some chuck eyes and some uh, mince, 80-20 minced hamburger meat to try out. And I haven't eaten it yet. But you got to think that if you got a person who came all this way, opened up a barbecue grill store, he's got to know the good meat. And evidently this place supplies a lot of steakhouses around. So I ordered minimum inch and a half to two inch thick ribeyes. And... Uh, It wasn't what I would call inexpensive, but then ribeyes aren't. And chuck eyes are nearly as good as ribeyes. So these are nice and thick. You can serve them very different ways. I haven't decided not to buy the barbecue smoker grill, but I might. I might buy one. Now that I'm in this pool villa, we got lots of room and everything. I'm just thinking if I ever had to move, it'd be a big hassle to have to move something that big. But basically, if you've been following my other channel, Mark Dash Hanna, at sign Mark Dash Hanna, you will know that I did the condo carry and got disgusted with it and decided for less than 50% more money than what I was paying for a condo, I'm in a pool villa with about 3,000 square feet. Great place. So I got the room to cook and I got a fabulous kitchen. And uh, so I said, okay, I've got, I've got the space. Now I got to get the equipment, get set up, so I can do a carnivore diet because I've decided that, that might be good for me. Might not. I don't know. I'm not perfect on this. I did my research. I did my homework. And I'm going to keep everybody informed. And if I succeed, I succeed. If I fail, I fail. That was day four. That's all, folks.